everybody, welcome back to... Uh, I had an intro already prepared and I've already forgotten it. So don't worry about that, we'll do something else. Hello, welcome back to Time Traveling Apples. The show where we look at apples that can travel mystically through time to change history by themselves. And people wonder how... Was the history always like this? And the answer that you and I know is that the apple changed the history. And it's a sentient apple. It can talk and it, I assume it has eyes and arms and stuff. There's loads of different apples that can travel through time. And they're all magical and brilliant. Anyway, thank you. Today's episode is sponsored by putting your clothes on backwards and running around town. Pretending you are an alien. Sometimes if you go to the right villages, people will really buy into it and think you're an alien. <sighs> Play Pokemon Sword. I thought he was going to start out with a dragon Pokemon. He didn't. But I forgot that he does this bullshit. Because when we fought him, he did the two-on-two -two battles. He's not doing that right now. He's doing something else. He's, uh, I guess he's doing the other thing. The one-on-one -on -one battles. So that's fine. We will counteract his fire Pokemon with a water Pokemon. That is Plum Eyes right here. He's got these delicious, oh wait, shit. He's going to put me asleep when I dive underwater. Oh, because he used Yawn like a fucking... Cool. Who uses... No, I, I'm confused about this. I don't know what to do. Wait, okay. So he's, he's got Silver Beam. This is bad news. This is gonna hurt. Is this gonna hurt? Ooh, that's a Beam of Solar, alright. Alright, that was, that was difficult. Fortunately, we have full restores. Look at the little claw on his back, on Torkoal's back. It's a little puffy claw. Where are my full restores? I only have 11 full restores? What was I thinking? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Although 11 is probably fine. Well, it's 10 now. Okay, so that's really going to hurt. I don't like this guy using Silver Beam all the time. A Fire Turtle shouldn't be able to use Solar Beam. I'm gonna say that right now. Am I even gonna hit to be able to hit this fucking guy? I don't know. Let me see. No, 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 bag. No, no, no. I'm gonna die. Oh, we can go first because we're really cool. We'll have learned his Pokemon that I didn't look. Let me see. Stop using Solar Beam. Fucking, what's the matter with you, Fire Ass Turtle? Come on, man. Get my self-respect. 53. All right. How is my fucking thing faster than this? Yawn! Oh, you goddamn piece of shit. Why is he doing this? Is this his moveset? Is this yawn and solar beam? Like, he must have known. The fire turtle must have known. He's like, oh, everybody that's going to fight me is going to be a water. So I'll have solar beam. Which I think is a cheat. I don't think that's fair at all. What did loads of damage? We got the boost! There it is. We got that fucking boost. Oh my god. We've been, we have been at that for so many episodes now. Wait, am I dead? Am I dead? Oh my god. We spent so many episodes using Agent Power trying to get that goddamn boost. We finally got it. And he's dead? I'm very, very disappointed by that. God damn it. Oh, I don't like it. I'm gonna restore that man to a live status just so that he can get experience for that. Because he did so much, he took like four solar beams. <laughs> what? No! Oh, this sucks. Fuck you, Raihan. Raihan? Is that his name? 
Re, re Hondo, well, like, if he's gonna do fucking shenanigans, I'm also gonna do shenanigans. I don't give a shit. Well, it's not like I'm putting this on YouTube or nothing. Who fucking who cares, right? Look at him, his little shorts. And his, his sassy stance where one of his legs is slightly... What the fuck? What is this fucking body press thing? What's going on here? I'm just gonna hit him with this. We'll hit him with double edge. I don't care if it knocks him out. Ba bam Big damage. I really thought that would be more damage. <laughs> be perfectly frank with you. Body press. What the fuck? What moveset is this from a Torco? Are you kidding me? Body press. Solar baby yawn. What's his other one? Pipe smoke. Apple butter. You know, what? what's going on here? I've got apples on the brain today. I don't know what's going on. Knock him out. There we go. Give me the boost. Okay, no boost this time. Back to normal, it looks like. Could really have used that boost, but whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll persevere. Gudra. We will switch Pokemon. No, we're going to stay in because he's an ice Pokemon. No, yeah, my guy's an ice Pokemon. So we can just fucking ice him. We'll hit him with the, the big bad ice. Check this shit out. Good, you the rain dance. They're playing into my hands. They're salty. Doesn't hurt me at all. I love the water. I have a water Pokemon. Here comes the rain. Feel its cool depth is soaking your body. Mmm, it feels so damp. Delicious. Oh, boy. I really thought that would do more. <laughs> Let's just go for a deep dive. Thunder. Well, I didn't like the sign of that thunder. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, we're still alive. Oh, that's cool. That's, that'll really help out. Okay, I, with my leftover support, I'll have this I'll have this finished in no time. So I went for dive because it should do more in the, in the rain. Right? That was my big brain strats. I don't know if it was necessarily the right move. Muddy water. Thunder, muddy water, rain dance. I mean, that makes more sense, frankly. I think that makes sense as a, as a move set. Um, thunder and muddy water are both special. So let's hit him with a special move. That I like to call mirror coat. Yeah, we'll get a little surf. He has surf and muddy water. What's up with that? Strange, but whatever. I'm not here to teach you how to play Pokemon. I'm here to whip your butt with a, with a wobble fur. That's what I do. The rain has stopped. Excellent. Timed it perfectly. Flygon. Uh, Flygon's probably going to hit me with, hang on now, he's going to do, I think he's going to start off with something like Sandstorm, right? He's been putting the weather up, he's going to do Sandstorm, so I'm going to do Safeguard, well I was wrong, fuck, okay. Well, at least I know he, he does crunch. He'll probably do crunch again. I probably could have taken him out with that, but we'll, okay, he's gonna do crunch. That's perfect, really. That's um. Now he does sandstorm. What? 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 What the? F why did he do that? How did he? How did he know that I was going to do what I was just saying out loud? Let the winds blow, dude. Are right, you better crunch me again, motherfucker? Come crunch me. Give me a little chomp. Crunch me. Crunch me. Well, but I'll survive the crunch, will I? Will I? I will. Will you survive this? Fuck no. But I might get knocked out by the, the sandstorm. Doesn't matter. Leveled up. Smish is also up a level. Fucking awesome, dude. Am I dead? Alright, that's no brawler, no brawler. Um, who's next? Who is next? I don't remember. 
Oh, Turtleator. Why is this one harder than the first one? The first time we fought him, we beat the shit out of this guy. It was a piece of piss, dude. Just ripped into him. And destroyed this fucking guy. You know? Why is it so hard this time? I thought he would have used Shell Trap or whatever it is. What does he use? There we go. Done. Next. On to the next one. Turtonator, by the way. What a shitty Pokemon. I don't know if that's controversial to say. But I was like, what? Just look at it. Like, what the fuck is it supposed to be? You realize I'm the great Raihan, right? I'll be the first to beat Leon. So something else I said. That was me doing his voice. It was really good. I mean, there's no voice in the game, so you don't know what he sounds like. He could sound like this. I'm gonna make him big. I'm gonna make him real big. And then he makes him big. Here we go, he's getting real big. A little picture of the bigness. There is a big boy. Big old wiggly do. So, his ice type. Is he ice type? It seems to counteract the dragonness of it. Doesn't seem to hurt him that much. Let's do it. The dragon roars. G Max depletion. Yeah, that's probably gonna really fucking hurt, dude. Let's see. Yeah, that didn't look good. That could probably destroy a city. And they're like, yeah, let's put that inside our stadium. You know, if he's an ice Pokemon, we could clobber him with an octopus. Ugh. So I'm a little under the weather. You probably can't tell because I'm so um, just just in a, in a great mood today. Let's just fucking superpower and just punch this giant skyscraper. Max Knuckle, you're going to hit a fighting Pokemon with a fighting move? What are you, a big stupid idiot? I don't care if it's a critical hit. Check this side. Octopus is about to fucking attack. Superpowers. You are dead. Easy. All right. Took longer than I wanted it to, but we got it. We finished it. I feel like we should have wrapped that up like five minutes ago, but whatever. Most of my Pokemon are dead, but the octopus and the little grass blob are still alive, so it's all right. I'm not bothered at all. He looks really nonchalant over the fact that we just wiped the floor with him twice. Oh, yeah. My lovely Pokemon and I have become much stronger than we were before. I wouldn't say much stronger. You blew right past us beyond anything I'd imagine. I'm still pretty young myself, but it goes to show that there's always someone younger coming up, reaching further than you ever dreamed. And you've got your whole future ahead of you. Keep up the momentum. The Leon's not unbeatable. I'm going to destroy Leon. I'm going to just drag him through the fucking dirt. I'm going to tie him to the back of my car. And then I'm going to drive through the desert. All right, the big moment's finally here. Can okay, mature you on? No. Look at the ball guy on the TV. Not easy picking signs. Well, after all, it's a big showdown before my ball guy. What is going on? That's all this episode. This is all this show is. is me doing a really bad hop voice. We did start out together back in Postwick. To be fair, they have got their really stupid sounding British names down pretty well. If anyone could beat the unbeatable champ, it'd be you, mate. Will a boom. His real boom has the same accent he does. You know how they say that pets have the same accent as their humans? I mean, my dog doesn't. My dog is a totally different dialect. She just comes out and ninja kicks people. And with the championship match. Uh, let me see. Yeah, we're good. Uh, should we start with Smish? Uh... I think we usually start with Plum Eyes. No, with Big Hat. Because he sucks. <laughs> I don't know how we got this far with this guy. He's one of the worst. At least... <coughs> excuse me. At least with Glue Boy, you get type coverage. But... Um, Big Hat has proven to be pretty useful. Or useless, sorry. Pretty useless across the board. So that's great. Hi, handsome boy. Look at his boots. The tents still air on the pitch, and the exact opposite from the crowd 
the cheering and yelling. They're both fantastic, wouldn't you say? But remember, the audience is a bit cruel. They want nothing more than to see one of us lose, after all. It can fill you with fear and knowing that, but I absolutely love pushing past the fear. I love giving it everything I've got as a trainer and seeing my team give everything they've got to see as another victory. It's the greatest feeling in the world. I can't give enough of it. I can feel my partners itching with anticipation inside their balls. I mean, I don't want to do some kind of itchy ball joke. It's so boring. We all know what the bit is. We all have itchy balls. If you're watching this and you don't have any balls, I'm really sorry. Or I'm really happy for you. Hey, look at the monitor. What is that in the big screen? It's Sideshow Bob. He hates television. Hello, Leon and Explody. Just letting you know. What? I think it's time my brother about the darkest day. But it takes a totally free to a coin. Oh, yeah, fair enough. I mean, a bit of a trickle. The energy released by the darkest day is too much for us to contain. So then we're all going to die. Goodbye. He flies off to heaven. I'm sorry it's come to this, but it's you who forced my hand on to be future leader. I, I don't understand this plan, man. None of it makes any sense. Oh, he's angry. Oh, he's angry. Lee Explodey. Oh, this guy. He'll help. He can be the first one we sacrifice. So, um, that would, that'll solve everything. Did he really pull his crazy stunt to solve some problem a thousand years in the future? I've got to see what's going on. I'm the champion. How do you even know that's true? What if in a thousand years from time nothing happens, right? How could you possibly know that that's true? It's stupid. This is real champion time. Is this the stuff I have to do whenever I become champion? Instead of like paperwork, it's like, oh, you gotta save the world. I'm like, oh man, again? Oh boy. Um, no, I don't want you to help. I want you to go home. Oh, you could, you could make um, paper napkins for the, the celebration whenever I win and save the day. Maybe you could do that. I don't know what I need, I missed all this. The statue of the hero of Motorstoke. Sonia said something back then. What are you talking? What the fuck? Sonia thought the Pokemon might still be sleeping somewhere. Oh, we have to go find the Pokemon. We have to go get the dogs. The illusion you, the illusion you tried to fight off that day might have been one of the Pokemon. They were supposed to be sleeping there. Let's go back to the zombie world if we're lucky we find something there that could help. Riveting stuff. I think we can all agree. What an exciting championship battle this has been. Between two people who love Pokemon. Where did I put my pancakes? Oh, here's some children. Exploding and Hop? Oh, I completely forgot about the championship match. I was looking for pancakes. What are you doing here? Haven't you been watching the news at all? The tournament is off, Sonia. The chairman saw to that and is sending the entire region into a state of havoc. Huh? What? Oh, my voice starts doing the voices. Well, for a starter, there's a great black storm or something. Something similar to a storm raging over Hammerlock Stadium. What are they calling that? The darkest day? It's thrown everything into this sort Boy, this is... They figured all this news out really quickly. You know what I mean? If there was a stadium that exploded, but nobody died, and then suddenly there was a big black cloud over it, they were like... Well, this is definitely the darkest day. We figured it out. Don't worry about it. It's all over the news. Did you say the darkest day? The darkest day is the name for the black storm that nearly brought the gallery to the ruin in ancient times. So what are you here for, Explodey? I want to get the sword Pokemon. I suppose if the legends are true, then the sword and shield Pokemon should be able to prevent the darkest day from coming to pass. They might be just what we needed to beat back the black storm. Take this, you should head to the slumbering wield. I'll catch up with you once I'm done looking into something that's been bothering me. Max revives. Great. Sweet. Off you go. It's a good thing that you live right next door to this deadly fucking forest. And also the one thing that separates you from these incredibly scary Pokemon is a little wooden fence. 
Don't worry about it. The Pokemon over there is scary, but they probably won't be able to knock down a fence. Um, we've both grown stronger, and so have our Pokemon. Going into the forest after Wulu that day, that was the start of everything. A legendary beginning. Look, I don't give a shit. I don't care. I want to fight the dog. God, yap, yap, yippity yoop. <coughs> That's all this game is. It's a whole lot of yip yap. I like this bridge. It looks nice. That is my input for this 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 episode. I like the bridge. We didn't catch a blip bug at all. I probably should have used one of them. I bet that would have been a really shitty Pokemon. But I didn't even think of that. I was like, I don't want a bug Pokemon. Then I caught Ally Carpet. It seems fucking cool. Cool as shit, dude. Ally Carpets. What a legend. You know, he may not be in the team anymore, but his legend will live on. We're cursed by only being allowed to have six Pokemon. If we could have seven Pokemon, that fucker would still be on the team. Love that boy. If we could have eight Pokemon, we'd have him and Mr. Mime. And then just be really... Oh, now we're getting the strong Pokemon. Look at this. These are these are different boys. There's a Weezer. Full Restore. There's a Weezer. How do we beat Weezer? Oops. I remember him being really difficult, so I don't want to fight him. Big Hat, I don't think we'd do anything against him. So we'll move on. I want to go look for items. Though. Get the fuck out of here, Weezer. Yeah, I got past him. I sneaked past him, and I found an item, and I found... A mental herb. Better put it in the hospital. It is crazy. You, can you say that these days? Um, can I go up this? Oh my god, I can go up this. And now I'm over here. Got a, a, elixirs. Um, oh, we got this. Phantom Force. I don't think that that's any good. I don't know what we're going to do with Phantom Force. Um, we gotta fucking find this Pokemon real quick. Um, otherwise the episode's gonna be over. Fuck, there's a bird! A wild Corby Knight. What level is this guy at? Is this worth trading up here? I was using pressure. Oh, fuck. 47. Not super high. I think they're probably higher in the wild area. We could probably just run away from this guy. No adverse problems whatsoever. I think I'll just run away. 47. Like, if it was worth trading up here, I would do it, but... I don't think it is. Oh, it's a fucking Snip Snap! It's a Snip Snap! Or a Stun Fist, as it's technically called. Why did the Pokemon company listen to me when I called it a Snip Snap? I give them loads of ideas. And they were like, no, no, no. We're gonna be able to come up with the Pokemon names. Thank you very much. What's up here? Nothing. All right, what's up? What's with the fog? It's even worse than the first time you came here. Uh-huh. Oh, it is getting pretty bad. Oh, it hurt my eyes. Ooh, my tender eyes. Oh, there is the fucking boy, finally. Okay, I'll catch. I don't think we can catch him yet, though. Lard. Grilled. Lard grilled. They really are here. The sword and the shield Pokemon. That's Sam. As you can see, one of them is a sword. And he melted into the, 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 the fog. What a shame. Well, no, come back. What the fuck? What are you doing here? You. What do you mean, what are we doing? You just saw us. You let, it, you let us walk past you. We're looking for the dogs. Good God. I dug into some literature from other regions and I finally found something. Mentions of the sword Pokemon Zashian and the shield Pokemon Zamazenter. Look, I, I, you don't think I could have localized those names better? What the fuck? The writing said those two Pokemon were born somewhere beyond the slumbering wild sometime long ago. Ta, Sonia, thanks for that. Maybe the sword and the shield those used to carry is still here too. Do we need to find that? What do you have to say? Zan, Zam, this, yeah. Maybe no one come in here because of the dog. Yeah, that's probably what it was. Maybe the dog's in here. Are you in here, dog? 
What is this? There it is. It's the dog. It's a wiggly barboge. It's a wiggly barboge. Wiggle my barboge. Wiggle my barboge. I don't know what that means. Look at that. Let's see this experience. Let me see it. Big, big, big. Damn big experience. Gonna get plum eyes up a level. Oh, wow. 400. Jeez. Feel so big and strong. Oh, I feel so strong. How far up do we have to go before something happens? Can we wrap it up in five minutes? Probably not. I don't think we can. This isn't good. I mean, that's pretty and all. Kind of run down. The dogs don't do a very good job of looking at this. As I know from experience, if you leave a dog in charge of something, they will not do a very good job of looking after it. This place definitely feels like the stuff of legend. No, it definitely feels like a dog look after it. That's what this feels like. Um, should we start this? Hang on, how do we... Oops, I guess we're starting it. I went a little too far. We'll just do it. There is a sword and there is a shield, I guess? I don't know if you would class either of those things as things. They look like a big pile of crud, but whatever. See that? The sword and shield. Well, it's got to be true. I find some shit in the grind, so that means the legends are true, <laughs> right? It all makes sense. These guys take a lot of, like, leaps of faith, don't they? It's really, like, circumstantial. Look at this. This must mean this garbage I heard 100,000 years ago was true. And that also 100,000 years from now will also be true. If some conjecture we made up, you know, just... I'm taking this. That sells it. I'm stealing this. <laughs> That's it. I'm deciding. <laughs> I'm stealing this. <laughs> oh, hop, you little thief. You definitely are British. <laughs> Taking this and putting it in your museum. This is the best we can do. We've got the sword. We've got the shield. What do you have to say for yourself? If anyone's going to help me... If anyone's gonna help Lee now, I guess it's just you and me. He's probably at Hammerlock Stadium trying to keep the darkest day at bay. Wanna grab a flying taxi there? Um, not yet. Because I don't wanna start the event right now, but I will. Um, I will fly there later. But I think we'll just call it a day here and fucking um, start the next episode in the next episode does that make sense it makes sense to me anyway uh thank you for watching thank you for putting up with me being sick i'll probably be sick in the next episode funny how that works and i'll see you next time goodbye do it do it do it wham that was a good one